name is Lauren and today we're just doing this really fun springtime inspired look using some really really pretty peachy tones. I just wanted to do something a little more fun and glam for you guys today since my last tutorial was kind of boring but I am feeling a lot better. I do sound a little nasally still so I apologize for that but I still wanted to get something out for you guys so here we are. So if you'd like to see how I did this makeup stay tuned for this video. If you're interested in seeing how I did this hair be sure to watch out for tomorrow's video and while you're at it if you could please hit that subscribe button down below and that notification bell that way you know whenever that video is out I'd really appreciate that so yeah let's get started I just spilled all my bobby pins ah! this was my best intro so far too <sighs> this giant box of bobby pins and I just spilled all of them all over my table okay so I've already done my brows and I have prepped my lids so let's get started I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, I'm starting out with the ColourPop You Had Me at Hello palette, and I'm going to go in with the shade Two Peas on a fluffy blending brush. And I'm just gonna pop that right in my crease. Just lightly for my transition. Next, on a slightly smaller brush, I'm gonna go in with this shade right here, which is pulling strings. And I'm just going to put that right above my crease. And I'm sort of rounding things out. I'm just gonna go in with a blending brush and make sure those two are nice and blended. Then I'm gonna go back in with that same shade I just used on a smaller brush and I'm just gonna darken that up. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go right above my natural crease line. Then on a shadow brush, I'm just gonna take that same exact shade, just like a regular shadow brush and I'm going to pop that right in the corner and then on the outer corner. Like so. And then I'm just gonna go back in with that blending brush one more time and blend everything out. Once everything is nice and blended, I am then just gonna go in and carve out my halos using a little tiny brush and some concealer. I'm using Tarte Shape Tape, but just use whatever is your favorite. As my little rule of thumb for halos, I just like to look straight on and then go right above my pupil. Once you have your halo how you want it, just set it with some translucent powder. Once you have those nice and carved out, I'm then going to take that light sheet again on a sheeter brush and to help create more of a halo effect since I did go a little too far in on my carving. I'm just gonna pop that in the inner corner and on the outer and just blend it in with that concealer just to create more of like a halo rather than a cut crease. And then I'm gonna take a small little brush and I'm just gonna go over that concealer line just to blend it make it less harsh. Next I'm going in with my Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm taking this one right here on a flat brush. I'm actually gonna wet it first. It's gonna pop that where the concealer is. I'm just gonna take a blending brush and slightly go over everything just to help make things a little more soft. This isn't like a super like cut crease halo, just a 
very soft, natural-ish. And then I'm gonna go in with my liner and I am gonna wing it out today. I'm just using the e.l.f. pen. apply my foundation and my concealer and I will be right back. Now that my face is on, I can move on to my lower lash line. You don't know what I'm gonna do. Hold on. <laughs> um, so I'm first gonna take that lightest shade, Ooh, that lightest shade, and I'm just gonna pop that underneath. Using a small brush. I actually kind of just like this color on its own. I think I'm just gonna smoke that color out. So yeah, I'm just gonna smoke that out since the top is kind of a little darker than I anticipated. Ignore this Easter egg on my forehead. So I'm just gonna pop on my lashes and then I will be back. Okay, lashes are on and I just realized that I forgot to do my inner corner and my brow highlight. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And I'm just gonna be taking this guy. And I'm gonna take that lightest one in the palette and I'm just gonna pop that in my inner corner. And on my brow. Okay, so now we are gonna move on to our face. And I'll should I bronze. We'll bronze. Who doesn't like some color? I've been so pale for the past few days anyway. So I'm just taking my Sunday's bot. My Sunday's bronzer. My Sunday's bronzer by Lorac. Next time I'm actually going to take this Corally Blush. And this is actually by Ben Nye. Um, you can get it online. So I'm just going to put that on my cheeks. For highlight, I'm just taking this lightest shimmery one in the Morphe highlighter palette. Every time, way too much. Besides this giant goose egg on my forehead, I don't, I don't have very much texture as I normally do. So, I'm going for that blinding highlight today. So first for my lip liner, I'm actually gonna take Salsa by Ben Nye, and typically I despise this shade. It is hideous usually, but, but I'm gonna try and work with it to get the look that I want. So I'm just gonna outline my lip. Then I'm gonna take this lip liner by Pure Cosmetics in the shade G117, which is just like a typical nude. And I'm gonna like blend that into there and fill my lip all the way in. That's what we were going for. <laughs> then I'm going to take the Pure Cosmetics lipstick in the shade Stripped, which is just this kind of like peachy nude, warm nude. I'm gonna apply that. And then the last 
but not least, I'm going to take the It Cosmetics Vitality Lip Flush in the shade Perfect Nude. I don't know why I read that every time. I know what shade it is. I'm just going to put that right over with some shine. That's a lot of lip product. That's okay. Cool. So I'm gonna go do my hair and I'm gonna do something that will cover this and then I'll be right back. We are done. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really, really hope you enjoyed it. It honestly did turn out a little darker than I had anticipated, but I still do think it turned out really pretty, and I hope that you like it as well. I did want to mention that in my last video, I said something about getting a new background, and I did get that background. However, I really don't care for how it looks on camera. It's supposed to be a really pretty blush rose gold color, and it does look like that in person, but on camera, it looks like this really dark silver, like almost pewtery looking color and I just don't really care for it so I think it's my lighting I feel like it would look a lot better if I had a ring light which is on my list of things to get next but until then I just am gonna forget about that background um, I might go back to the drawing board I might wait to see if it will work with something else but until then we're just gonna stick with this um, anyways thank you so much for watching this video again I really hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in tomorrow's video Bye.